Uh, they call me Shorty from uh, Barrio Van Nuys, the San Fernando Valley. I'm representing for the San Fernando Valley. This is my daughter, uh, Stephanie, here. Um, I'm very privileged to be here tonight to talk about a little bit with the Chicano culture as far as um, being proud, most of all, to be a uh, Chicana. Uh, I love it. I know there's a lot of discrimination towards, you know, our own culture as Mexicans, but uh, we are always fighting that struggle with the Chicanos because if you're from Mexico or whether you were born here, whether you're Mexican, uh, whites don't accept you, but if you go to Mexico, they still don't accept you. So that's why um, I'm kind of representing Chicanos. I'm proud to be a Chicana. Uh, I love it. Uh, my culture is beautiful. I love oldies. Uh, everything about it is such a beautiful um, vibe. I'm so proud. I can never really say that Oh, I'm ashamed of my race. I love my race. I'm actually in my 50s. A lot of people say, oh, you're so beautiful. You're still on that active issue. But I've seen a lot of activists, uh, a lot of things going on from the young, from the old generation. Um, the only thing that, that I noticed the difference is that I wish the younger generation could have a little bit more of a respect carry themselves a little bit more respectful because in our generation um, we had respect for our parents, for our elderly, for our people. And I would appreciate it for the young generation to step up to the plate and have respect. And having respect is the most beautiful thing for our culture. I don't think it has to do with the uh, Chicano uh, community as far as our culture. I think it kind of almost feels like um, through generation, through generations, as their uh, parents uh, have taught them to be raised. And I think that, you know, if a child is not loved or a child is not getting that right attention, I think that's where the whole trigger starts. If parents, as Chicanos, we gotta love our children. We gotta uh, teach them, uh, school them. Regardless of what problems we got going on, whether we were troubled children ourselves, we can't take it out on our kids or our grandchildren. We just gotta learn, bypass that and teach our children to become just better kids and move on and keep our culture just being strong. And most of all, keep that respect. Being positive, because if we're not positive, we're gonna go down. And um, there's another one issue that I wanted to address. Um, it really breaks my heart when it comes down to, you know, we're Chicanos. We are all in one race. And if we're not accepted in Mexico as Mexicans being here, born in the United States. But then again, we're not accepted in United States in, I would say, in the white world. But uh, my issue is, if we're, not ex if we're not accepted in Mexico and we're not accepted here, let's kind of have respect for our race. Like, let's not like be haters among each other. You know what I mean? Like, when we see each other, let's greet each other with love and respect instead of mad dogging and killing each other. Because I see a lot of races that are Armenians, uh, uh, other cultures that get along very well. I just don't understand the fact how our race, we gotta be killing each other just for a wrong look, or we don't like each other, or just a simple stare of a Chicano looking at another Chicano the wrong way. We need to stop that. We need to get along. We need to be united. And you know what? God bless everybody. And I praise to the Lord that everybody gets along as a Chicano culture because I love my Chicano race. And that's the way I roll, homie. Peace. Chicano power. And uh, God bless everybody.